Thanks for chatting with us. Oh, thanks for having me. Do we like that Jim is representing What's going on? on his back? That, rightfully so. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Even in real life, he has to carry me on his back. <laughs> so is Crystal ever going to get a break? I hope so. I'm tired. I'm so tired. <laughs> But what Fusco needs to do is find out what Carter did, because she's been in a glass house this whole time. Yeah, you know what's great is that is, is that um, Carter built Fusco out at the end of the season last year, and Fusco doesn't even know that she's on the you know, She walked away with the mud on her boots and the dog, and Fusco didn't know that he was on the phone. So he doesn't even know that she that she's the one that, that pulled the body from her, you know? So it's kind of cool. I'm anxious to see where that whole storyline goes this year. With the moral, the, moral issue. Well, just the, just, the, just the relationship, because now Carter has, has been um, uh, busting down a patrolman. So um, she's not going to have the access that she once did with, in terms of uh, information and stuff within the precinct. So I would imagine she's going to be leaning on Fusco for a fair amount of that. So to see where that dynamic goes, I mean, here's a woman that in all intents and purposes saved his life. Now she's going to come back from and ask him for something. He's going to be like, hey, wait a minute, you know? Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how that all, how that all plays out. Do you think you're going to get pulled in more to the HR? Yeah, well, I, think, I mean, I think you can never escape it. At the worst times, um, you know, I definitely think the relationship with HR is not over. Yeah. But uh, you know, that's that's something that I, I, I think um, is 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 not so concerning. It is concerning, but not as concerning as the the, the internal dynamic between you know Carter and Reese and Mr. Finch. So Fusco kind of lucked out with his uh, Victoria's Secret supermodel. Hey, come on, we have <laughs> George Clooney's got nothing on the kid. Come on, what are you talking about lucked out? <laughs> Seems like they gave him a little uh, something. Come on. All the hard times again. That couldn't have been I'm a irresistible. It's that Fusco irresistible charm. <laughs> And he also had a little romance. So is he going to get we some, did. some you know more what? of that? That was some, that was an idea that I um, had presented to Greg Clayton. And you know the fans in the show were so smart. Um, the idea was that um, Greg, you know, I, I I was in Los Angeles and. Um, Whenever I had to go for, I forget what it was, for something. And it was on my day off. So Greg and John said, hey, come by the writer's room. So I went by and had lunch with the writers. And all the writers said, is there anything that you want to play? Is there any place you want to go? We're, we're exploring stuff with the character. And I said, you know what? I would really like to go on a date. And they looked at me like, a date? And I was like, yeah, I think it would be really cool. But it was a two, it was a two part pitch. You should have heard my wife when I came out. I said to my wife, goes, I pitched an idea on the show. She's like, let's hear it. I go, I go on a date. She goes, let me get this straight. You pitch an idea, and it's you going on a date. <laughs> but um, it was a two-part pitch. What it was was, Fosco goes on a date with this girl. Becomes rather smitten with her. He thinks that maybe this could really be love. For and, and, and all the characters in the show are kind of hopelessly in love. Every, every, every one of them are kind of broken individuals. Uh, when it comes to trust and, 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 and love, you know. Um, so the idea was to he goes on a date with this girl, he comes rather soon, thinks that maybe this is the real thing. Goes by a house to surprise her one day, outwalk Simmons, and you realize that she is a mole for HR, which I think could have been really done right. Could have been really something that could have really kind of brought it a whole different direction. So we shoot the date, the episode airs, Greg's getting ready to write the, the, the second part of it, and all of the Twitter, I hope she's not a mole for HR! <laughs> I, you know, because, you know, we, we, even, we even laid it in there where Rhonda says, I have a cousin who's a cop, you know what I mean? And we, you know, we just kind of insert these small subtleties, and sure enough, like, we couldn't even start to write the other episode. It's like, she's a mole, I know it! She's, she's, gonna, she's gonna give information to HR! And Greg just looked at me and goes, sorry, buddy. <laughs> Don't want to see him. Who kicked in the teeth? No, I think. Times. You know what? I like. I, I, I think. I think the reason people have responded so well to Fosco is, is uh, he's reality in terms of the show. I mean, you have you have these characters that that at any given moment really could take flight to a place of disbelief. You know, um, and I think so. You look at the show and you say. Oh, this guy's a billionaire, but I'm really not sure how he made his money. But 
He's got all this information. He's got this machine he built. And then you look at Jim's character, and you see this guy Reese. He's a, you know, covert, black ops. You're not really quite sure what he is. And then you look at Carter, and you say, and she's this badass cop, but if she's so badass, how'd she become a cop? And then you look at Fusco and you go, well, I kind of buy this guy as a cop. You know what I mean? He looks like the blue collar cop that's in my neighborhood. So what it does is it gives the other characters, I feel, a sense of credibility and kind of grounds it so that the audience don't go to a place of, oh, I, don't, I don't buy that. You know what I mean? And I think that's what Fosco does for the show. I think that's the dynamic. And I think that's where a lot of the people um, embrace the character because they, they can connect with it because he's just that blue collar guy that you could make for the neighborhood. You know? that's, my, that's my thought. That's an important point, I think. So, in a way, then, the dude is really like he's a, almost like a certain type of glue for this team where you have all these kind of yeah. different groups that are all. He's a role together. player. If we were a basketball team, he'd be a role player. You know? He's not he, the ringer. He's not the ringer. He's not the guy that's going <laughs> to hit the shot to win the game. You know, he's a guy that's going to maybe, you know, grab a couple rebounds down the way and, and, and set up the star of the game. You know? he's, he's a role player. That's, that's what he wants. What do you want from him this season? What do you want? Um, I, I, well, I would like the relationship with Carter with him and Carter to, to, to kind of you know continue to evolve and, and see where that where that takes us. Um, I'd like to see maybe if he um, was become a, a little more privy to see some of the information and maybe some more exposure to the machine uh, because he really doesn't have much uh, of experience in that area. Uh, so I'd like to maybe see him kind of brought into the fold a little bit more. Um, and of course, not end up in prison, <laughs> which is which is always something that could very well happen. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, do you, um, do you see him interacting more with like Ruth and like, Elias? And well, he's never met. Uh, he's never had any interaction with Ruth. He's never really had uh, any interaction with Shaw. Um, so, no. You know, what? I I really enjoy doing scenes with Mike Lemerson. Uh, that, that was a lot of fun. We did some stuff in season one together. So to see Fusco and, 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 and uh, Mr. Reese together, I mean, uh, excuse me, Mr. Finch together, it was really a lot of fun, you know. We had uh, we had one scene where him and I were walking down the street. I was eating a hot dog. And it was just so much fun, you know. So. Well, that's good. It's interesting, though, to think, I guess, what direction we could go in, just in terms of you know, how he's going to be able to get at HR, because he's been the victim for so long right. that it would nice, be nice to see the tables turn. Do you think he's going to get to that point where he's a step ahead? Well, I don't think he's, I don't really think he's a victim. I think what, I think what happens is, is, is that HR is really not sure what side of the fence fuss goes on, um, but they're so vulnerable right now that they don't have the liberty of making that determination. So it's kind of that pet snake that you have to hold and just hope that it won't bite you. And I think that's kind of the relationship with, uh, with HR. And I think as HR cultivates more information pertaining to Fusco, then the dynamic of that may all change. So that's, that's definitely, and Robert John Burke, I just love working with. I mean, uh, you know, he plays Simmons in, uh, that guy's just awesome, and I, I I love working with him. He's a great human being, but just a phenomenal actor. He's just got that, you know, he's got that stillness, and that power, and to and to see um, to see Fusco kind of you know try to combat that with his with his chest all puffy, but really behind it, the subtext of it all is that Fusco's really fearful of, of this thing, you know, and uh, so that's it's that's so much fun to play. Which do you prefer? Because we have the two different types of stories where you have the bigger mythology pieces where you have your HR, you have your machine, and that really kind of divides the team. And then you have the person of interest stories that tend to bring the team together. Mm -hmm. So which do you prefer? Um, I don't really have any, any, any preference. Um, you know, my thing is, is that I'm, I'm one of these guys that, as an actor, I always want to play a truthful and I always want it to be truthful. I don't, I don't would never want um, a, a person to sit down and see something that I've done, participated in. They look at it and go, eh, I don't really buy that. You know? and, that and that's probably the that's probably the through line that I, I have as an artist. I'm always, that's always the way I've operated. Um, 
when Fosco gets to get out of the precinct and 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 and, and do things like um, the stuff they did with Kalina Kokova, that was yeah, fun. That's rough, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, what are you gonna do today? I gotta protect the supermodel. I'm gonna be very busy. Don't call me at work. Uh, no, that stuff's really fun, and it's and, and it's you know it's it's so much fun when you're given the opportunity to kind of go off and be your own person. Um, you know that uh, there was an episode uh, there when we at the um, at the at the uh, hotel we were at the hotel, and I had to go out and, and Fusco found the body in the trunk and comes out to the guy. He's seen a little chihuahua and he hits the guy and you know to play those things are just is so much fun because it's at, at that moment he feels empowered and he feels like he's really on the team you know. So I love playing. Those are the moments I love playing most. Yeah. And do you watch the episodes? Do you have your own theories on the machine? I do when I can. I mean, we lots of times we're working when the episodes air. You know, um, so you you, you kind of grab. You know, remember there's so many storylines going on in the show. You don't always see each other. I can go weeks without seeing Jim. I can go weeks without seeing Michael. You know, because you may come in. The, me and Carter will have five scenes in the episode, and just the way the episode, the, the way the schedule stacks up, like like the next episode I work on Wednesday, I shoot five scenes on Wednesday by myself because the, the storylines all go in different places, so I won't see anybody for that remainder of that episode, you know. So sometimes you try to catch the episode just so you can kind of see what else going on. Even though you read it the page, we're shooting episode two right now. By the time we we come to air in September, we'll probably be six episodes in. So it's um you know people think like you read the script, you were there, but I was like, it was there but I wasn't, you know? So I try to catch as much of it as I can. There's a lot to keep track of. Yeah, absolutely. Hey guys, I really appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate nice to meet you all. Thank you.